Welcome to Creative Secrets 4, and I'm James Hudnall. I'm a 30-year comic veteran and also the author of The Secrets of Writing, which is available at many ebook stores and in Amazon in physical form. You can find the link to it at below. But uh, this chapter, I wanted to talk about what makes a story have meaning. It's probably one of the most important things that any story must have as I discussed in my last chapter, but I wanted to dedicate a whole video to this because it's so important. A lot of people don't realize that the meaning of a story is the value of a story, and it's not just the entertainment value. It's the value of whether or not people will remember it. So how is that done exactly, you might ask? Well, first of all, many people use what are called themes. Themes are things like war, poverty, alcoholism. It's a subject matter. This subject matter is explored in your story sort of subversively. So it's there, but it's not totally obvious necessarily. It's something that holds your story together as a purpose. So your story has a purpose. It has an argument to make. The theme is sort of like the impetus of your argument. It's the thing that's driving forward the points that you're trying to make. And so when you explore a theme in a story, what you're doing is showing us variations of that subject matter and how it affects the characters in the story and the world of the story. And in the course of the story, we discover what is right and wrong according to the way the story plays out. That is how you use a theme. That is also how you provide meaning to a story. Story has to be about something. It doesn't matter how simple it is, but it has to be about something or it's a waste of people's time. And people do not like to have their time wasted. That's something you need to understand because you're expecting people to pay money for your work or to experience it. Your goal is to make someone feel. You want people to remember your story so that they remember you, hopefully, and they want to come back and read more of your stuff. In order to do that, your story has to resonate with them. It has to make them think. It has to make them feel. In order to make people feel something, the story has to have relevance to their lives in some way. The story could be ridiculous. It could be outer space. It could be, you know, under the ocean. It could be all kinds of things. But ultimately, the story itself has to have an element to it that they can relate to on some level. The stories that people remember through time, the stories that are still with us, are stories that impact people personally, that they get something from it. And the reason for this is because stories are our way of interpreting reality. It's a way of putting life into context. A lot of life seems random and Kind of scary in some ways. I mean, people have a lot of people have a trouble even dealing with reality. And a story is a way of focusing attention on reality and kind of giving a context to reality. Even if the story is absurd, it has to be believable or it has to have meaning. Meaning gives a story a life. So it doesn't feel like just some fake thing that somebody thought up. You want it to feel real on some level. In order to do that, you have to go through a lot of steps, which I will break down in the coming videos. To keep this video short, I just want to go over some basic elements that we need to understand. One of the ways to do this is to make the story have personal impact. And how that's done is you first build up the character in such a way that the person can relate to that character and I will be getting into that in later chapters, I know. But So you have a character, and you've made that character hopefully somebody that your people are interested in following. And the course of the story, things that happen to the character are personal to that character. And hopefully when you're reading the story, you are identifying with the character, and you sort of go along with them, and you sort of imagine yourself in their shoes that is when the person has engaged in the story. Now, to make it personal, you have other characters interact with them in such a way that it is more than just a casual event. 
like for example if they're their close friend or their mother or somebody that's important to them in their life and if something happens to them or if they do something really bad to your hero then that's personal it has a personal impact that's why you see a lot of movies have characters that have a friend or a relative that betrays them or something that's sort of like a cheap way of doing it but if you have a personal connection to the character then it makes it the story more relevant the more abstract you make things the less relevant it feels if you want a story to feel relevant then you have to make it relevant to the characters the characters are your connection to everything in the story you are seeing the world through their eyes and you're experiencing things through their experiences characters have to engage it still has to be a story with stakes you know the term skin in the game you have to feel like a real importance to this it's not just meaningless because otherwise who cares you know i mean a story about somebody going to the store and picking up a carton of milk and coming home is not very interesting unless there's stuff that happens in the course of that story that makes it interesting and personal stakes are involved that is what i'm talking about now let's get back to the subject of themes because that's the second thing that gives a story meaning a theme is a subject matter which your story revolves around it doesn't always have to be obvious but let's give you an example let's say the story is about divorce two parent two parents divorcing and they have kids so there's a lot of stakes involved there are the kids livelihood of each person there's all kinds of repercussions that revolve around that divorce is the theme in in the story you're exploring divorce and all the ramifications of a divorce to make it interesting and that is how the story is personal because this particular theme deals with personal things that affect both the main characters the couple and that is something that you can do with themes you can have multiple themes in a story and uh, the point is you have to keep it to a reasonable level and you have to make them count you don't want to waste themes you want to use them to your advantage everything is used for an advantage nothing should be wasted in a story so those are two ways you can make your story more powerful by making it personal and making the theme relevant to the story and the characters in the story in that way it all becomes valuable now the third version of how you can make a story more important and make the story have meaning is story values but i'm going to have to dedicate a whole video to that subject in a later chapter for now you have enough to think about so that's this section of my series creative secrets which i'll be doing every week and i want you to check out my book the secrets of writing which is available at ebook stores everywhere including amazon where you can also buy a physical copy all the links are at the bottom of this in the description and i thank you for listening and please check out my indiegogo campaign agenda which is now 17 days from our deadline so we really could use your help to get to the finish line we're getting there thank you very much and i'll talk to you later bye